this young man who is dead, who sees a witch's Sabbath. Mm, it really goes well with tea. This is about Hector Berlioz, French composer who was born right about the time that Beethoven realized that his deafness was incurable. That's around 1803, the beginning of the century. Basically, Berlioz was not meant to be a composer. He was going for law, a law degree. Once he heard opera, and once he heard an orchestra play, and in fact, the first orchestra he heard was in France playing Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, he fell in love with music. Never became the eccentric composer pianist as some other composers did. One of the things that he wrote that's kind of really off the wall, though, is Symphonie Fantastique, or the Fantastic Symphony, or as he has subtitled it, Life of an Artist. <laughs> Get this one. He fell in love with an English actress who was touring in France, and being the ultra-romantic that he was, he wanted to let this lady know just how much he thought, thought about her, and he started writing this symphony. But she spurned him. He was not the one she was looking for. He added another movement to the symphony, which really uh, kind of gets kind of creepy. This starts out very happily and things are blissful. Then it goes to taking the loved one into the country for a lovely picnic, very pastoral sounding music. But then he gets into the part where the loved one drops him. That's when he starts really getting very dark. The music turns into a march, a funeral march. And then it decides that, oh, well, to the guillotine with you. He decides he's going to commit suicide. The music is raucous, it's rowdy, it's loud, it's for huge orchestra, and it just explodes in the concert hall. And there's witches cackling in the, uh, the Sabbath movement. You gotta hear it to believe it, but it's all part of classical music. Beethoven on one hand, Berlioz on the other.